Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's day number two here, which means it's time to do the other parts of that little quest, I should say minigame type giblets, over back at uh, North Clock Town. Remember that Deku game thingajigger? Yeah, uh, that's a thing we gotta do, and that's a thing I'm going to do. So let's go back up and over there and see what is up with game number two, because we gotta do this on every day. By the way, it always rains on day two, so keep that in mind for future events. And here we go, I've got 40 rupees and I know how to use them, but I'm gonna get more from this mini game actually. Uh, if I, sh I forgot to buy the map from Tingle, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna get more rupees back when I win this anyway. In theory. <laughs> I definitely want to get this done before the uh, end of the first days, if at all possible. Because this game can be kind of tricky-ish. Okay, I'm going to try and drop on to this one right here. See, now you got to time yourself to the platforms. They aren't just moving vertically like they were before. Oh, no, 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 you got to actually do some timing shenanigans going on here. What I like to do is do uh, like a loop around from the... Um, the outer ones to the inner ones, and then go back to the inner ones. I mean, and then go back to the second inner one, then go to the outer ones. Like, just in order like that. And it, it seems to be the most efficient way to do it. Oh, shoot. Oh, shooty shoot. Ah, oh, I knew I didn't have that. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but it's definitely doable. And you'll see that you get, you get a bit of rupees back, even if you should fail it. So, yeah. I can't believe I'm failing at this so much, though. I mean, it's not that difficult of a game. I mean, yeah, it is difficult of a game, but it's not horrendously difficult. <laughs> Alright, I'm just waiting for this one right here. I think the second one's actually faster to do than the first one, because the, the platforms are moving around as opposed to them just being stationary. So you can kind of position yourself a little better. And I don't understand why, but that camera is really, really bad in this sometimes. <laughs> And I'm just gonna wait over here and wait for the one to pop below my feet. Oh, geez, that was actually kind of close. <laughs> I'll do that same thing again here. There we go. Now I'm looking for the one in the middle row that has a rupee. Always aim. Oh, jeez, a camera. Always aim yourself away from them, <laughs> basically, so that you're you have enough time to get to them. Okay, I'm gonna go and aim myself here, because I see it going in this direction, so I'm gonna get myself in position. Here it comes, here it comes... Are you serious?! Come on! <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> Yes, yes, come on. This is just ridiculoso to the max, so... <laughs> like, I was, I was right there. That was unbelievable. Now I gotta do it six more times. Ah, by the way, the timer only stops when you pop out of it, so... You should actually wait longer than I did on that second run, but... Details. <laughs> Alright, camera, 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 oh, Arthias! <laughs> Let me in, please, thank you. That camera, though, is going to be the death of me, I swear. <sighs> now I'm just rushing. Dang it! <laughs> Come on, I can do this. By the way, I'm burning so much time on this because it's... There really isn't all that much left that I can do anyway, so... I might as well just work on this. <laughs> and besides, when I win it just once, I'm gonna get another good rupee haul anyway, so yeah. I wonder if I should always focus on getting that blue one first, in all honesty. That'll give me my money back. What? Why did you hop off? <laughs> he hopped off backwards. Come on. I'm gonna actually have to grind for rupees or have to go back to the bank at this at this rate. Come on! Please have mercy on me! <laughs> well, there's that, there goes the blue one, but. Jeez! <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Alright, we're going. We are going. We're gonna win this. I slipped off the edge. Are you. Fine, fine, I'll go back to the bang. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I definitely have to complete this before the the three day cycle is up, otherwise I'll have to do the mini game all over from the start again, and it's gonna be sucky and I'll be cursing out this game like no one's business. But yeah, why am I not sticking to the platform? That just seems <laughs> Like, you're, you're seeing me land on the platform, but then you're just like, nope, I'm gonna slide off. <laughs> Seriously, not that hard either, but anyway, I'm just gonna get the rupees and go back. Alright, uh, make, making a- oops! I, I, I'm, I'm doing a withdrawal, actually, yes, yes. And now I'm just gonna mess with you, yes, it's a cruel joke, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> Alternately, you can just do this. You know, leave the area, come back, get some more rupees from these things, and yeah, just basically repeat that over and over, but well, well, that's that's a lot slower than already getting money from other areas. <laughs> Alright, from the top, hopefully my break will allow me to recompose myself here. Yes. Let's begin... soon. <laughs> I'll get out here now, actually. And crisscross, voila, there we go. So you just gotta be a little bit more ahead than I was playing for, I guess. <laughs> Alright, camera, don't fail me now, you're failing me now. Okay. And now we go in, and we go to the center. Can I do this, though? Probably not. And hop down, there we go. Aim ourselves this way, wait for the platform to come around, and drop down. Aha! This is looking good. This is looking... up. Oh, yes, yes, whatever. <laughs> uh, I gotta wait for that one to come around to somewhere that's ideal, like maybe here. Gotta get over and down here! Yes! Okay, one more. One more. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to go all the way around. Just to give myself as much time as possible. <laughs> I'm not going to mess it up this time. Yeah! Ah! I hate you so much. <laughs> Alright, so on day two, I got that. See, I, was, I told you I was going to get my money back, but I didn't get nearly as much money at the end as I should have had if I would have not had nearly that much difficulty. I mean, that that was just horrendously embarrassing. Alright, so... Tingle. Are you not here during this time? I guess you are not. Alas, alas. Well, that kid there, um... Well... Well, uh, see, we're probably gonna, not gonna have enough time to do that quest. If we started it now, well, maybe. I mean, possibly we could, but just for the sake of safety, I'm gonna start this on the, the beginning of the third day. Because there really isn't all that much left that I need to do during this course of uh, three days. That's why I'm just kind of showing you around, doing any sort of side quest that I can, I suppose. So what I'm gonna do here is dance until morning, and then get out of here. How's that sound? Uh-huh. Yes, please. Alright. Don't worry, there's still plenty of time if you know where to go. Even though the game isn't really clear why you need to go to the observatory, they're just kind of pushing you over there. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so, alright. 24 hours remain. And no, I'm not going to do any more dances unless I really have to. No. 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 <laughs> By the way, mysterious song, manipulate the flow of time. No, you tried telling me this. You show me before. <laughs> and it's, it's not like it's a different three day cycle either. But anyway, moving on. You'll notice that the music is getting more frantically sped up now because we're getting towards the nitty gritty. But that is okay because all we're going to be doing is just a few couple giblets and we will be golden. First off, I'm gonna try and hit Tingle with my bubble, which is probably not going to work. Oh, there we go! As I said, those bubbles are really inaccurate. <laughs> you just gotta, just gotta shoot and hope. Um, didn't we... yeah, we met before. Okay, at least you remember me. There we go, now I got the map for Woodfall in the future, which is gonna be the next place that we're gonna be going to after we finish this 
time period that we're still not able to save, which is kind of unbelievable if you think about it. And now, you know, there's a Jim here. He's been shooting at this thing and he has not been able to shoot and not been able to pop it. Well, we can. It, it might not seem like we can because he's got something more solid than a bubble, but I guess we can. And yeah, are you the one who just popped up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. I am ready. Alright, this is what I needed. Probably a full day's cycle for. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? I am ready. And the last one falls. So we gotta find all of them hide-and-seek style. Now, when you do find one, you're gonna probably have trouble catching them, because they run all over the place. So equip your Deku Nuts, just go into the menu screen, start, and then equip it with one of the C buttons. Yeah, wh wh whichever one you want, basically. I'm gonna do the Z button, which is C down, because it's just, it's at my fingertips. Now, yeah, you see, they're much faster than you, but by using the power of the Deku Nuts, you can stun them, and then there we go. But you can't stun them unless they're kind of like looking at you. That's why I decided to save my Deku Nuts until later so I could show you this trick to speed things along. Because it's significantly faster trying to catch the kids this way than it is with some other method. Oh shoot. Oh, they. Okay, you turned around. Okay, good. Woo! By the way, the, the moon is really close on this day, by the way, uh, and, and things are rumbling. Let's just, let's just say that. <laughs> Tattle. Tattle, what, what do you have to say? Ah, uh, fine. Oh, you're not gonna talk to me now? Okay. So now, we're, we're hearing some... We're hearing some chicken issues. Right, right, right? Well, the chicken issue is over here. One of the kids has got a chicken. Come back here, you monstrosity! Yeah! Stop! Oh, jeez, I hit the chicken! Hey! Aha, there we go. <laughs> Alright, two left. I believe now I've gotta go... Up and around... This away for another kid. He might, he may or may not drop off at the top of here on his own. Maybe I don't know. Oh, oh, he did. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Oh, you weren't looking. Ah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> now you see why I'm saving the Deku nuts. So yeah, they're counting down how many are left. Somehow they can, maybe they communicate with each other telepathically or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so now with the power of our Deku Nuts, we should be able to get the last one, which is hanging out over here on this side of town, which is back on around the route that I was going to take on my way- No, no, no! Not right now. Please, no, not right now. I'm going to need those rupees for that minigame for one last time. <laughs> ah! Take that. <laughs> Alright, I got all of them. It's over! Pretty good for a Deku scrub. If, you're, if only you were human, then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. Remember I was talking about the Bomber's Notebook? Remember? Well, they're not going to give it to us. So we're going to actually have to do this again to get it. No way! No scrubs! <laughs> so th once again, Deku scrub discrimination. I guess not. Once we let some of our, once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, do we ever regret it. Sorry, but I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Get your notepad because this is different for every save file. Two, three, four, five, one. That's actually really easy to remember, but I'm gonna write it down anyway. At least until I uh, get the bomber's notebook, and you'll see what I mean. All right. Good. Now there's actually a way to see that code again. <laughs> Just go and talk to one of the other kids. Like, if you try and talk to Jim, he'll he'll keep the code of hush hush. I'll just show you that really quick. He's like, ah, uh, did you memorize the code? If you're only your human, that can make the bombers member too bad. But yeah, if you talk to another one of the kids, they'll be able to, uh, um, to retell you the code. But anyway, I forgot I need to get here and do this on day three as well. And I hope I have enough time to do it. <laughs> All right, so in we go for day three version of this one here, and we are in. Good luck, the young Link. Now you can try for three straight days of new records. Yep, here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, what's the time limit for this one? One sixteen. Okay. Prepare your body. And watch the pattern just to see what you're looking for and whatnot. 
Um, hmm. I think I'll go for the blue one first, like I said I should have been doing before. <laughs> Alright, let's go now, because I'll get it, get to it when it's about coming around. Yes, there we go. Alright, I've got I'm getting the hang of this game now. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see how much I've got the hang of it as we go. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare slide off and tattle. Not, not right now. I'm in the middle of something very important here. <laughs> Alright, let's go around and then down. Wah! There we go, and I gotta wait for that other one to go up. So I have the best timing when it goes back. Yeah, so I can kind of visualize where I am a little bit better there. And the other one should be coming around soon. Oh, there it goes. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I have enough time for it to go around again. I'm not leaving this post until that thing gets back to where it is. I'm not going to try and head it off at the pass or anything like that. I just wanted to, just wanted to give myself the best shot at victory! Yeah! <laughs> and I'm so glad that I was able to do this one early on because this is actually a pretty annoying game. And I get a heart piece! There are 52 of these little suckers in this game, and I'm gonna get every single one of them. There's so many of them because there's so few dungeons, well, main dungeons, I should say. And, uh, yeah, they gotta get those, get you up to 20 hearts somewhere. <laughs> Such a youthful face, but we're really, we're really dealing with a fierce competitor! Uh, do you have anything else? Ah, it's Link Hyde! <laughs> yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. But don't worry, they'll, they'll stop fearing you the next time we see them. Alright, so I'm glad I got that over with. And now we can go ahead over to the observatory, finally. <laughs> So, the observatory. Remember we were I was talking about on this side of town there was that kid blocking off the path with the passcode and whatnot. Well now that we got the passcode, we can head on over here. And by over here I mean we better hurry up. <laughs> so two, three oh, two, three, four, five, one. That's correct! And remember that code is different for every save file, so yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, bomber secret sighting just is forever. <laughs> He's like, eh, I'm just kind of here. <laughs> so yeah, as I you, as I said, if you wanted to, if you forgot the code, just go up to one of the kids, like the one up on top of that building, and then just talk to them, and they'll they'll tell you the code again. All right, so I'm gonna go and rush through this underground area because there's not really much to see over here. Uh, there are some drawings in the 3DS version and stuff like that on the walls and whatnot, but not here. It's just the underground secret cavern, but beware of the Skulltula. It's our first enemy of the game! What, you don't even know what the Skulltula is protected by a hard shell, but the stomach is soft. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to bait this out, get a bubble, shoot. I do it from close range so it doesn't miss because as I said, bubbles are just horrible. <laughs> Um, if you need magic power to get by this balloon, these should these pots will probably contain magic power. Tattle! I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Well, look at the time! We don't even have a single day left! It's alright, we got we got plenty of time, it's okay. In fact, we're gonna have just the right amount of time, by the way, that I have this set up in my timing of sorts. So let's just put it that way. <laughs> Basically, Clock Tower will open at midnight. So, yeah, you literally have to take this to the very nitty-gritty in order to uh, actually reach the clock tower anyway. So that's how I was able to do all that other junk. <laughs> Yo, hey baby! Yeah, it's another style and scarecrow. But we're- we- no, 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 no thank you. <laughs> Not the way. I know of a mysterious song, yada da 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 No, you, you guys- you guys talk all the same. It's just- I- maybe you're teleporting from one location to another. Okay, moving on. Here's the astronomer. And this this place is actually pretty pretty. <laughs> this is all like indoor projections and stuff like that, because clearly this is not the looking at the outdoors, but yeah, it's actually pretty pretty. To get it, pretty yeah, never mind. Oh well, a strange looking child is joining me today. Are you an orphan of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mysterious friend from the other day. He did the laugh for me. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. Again about that moon's tear. There is no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble all around the clock tower. Yes, I would like to gaze through the telescope. So we gotta look up at the clock tower, where he's at, and then zoom in. Oops. 
I forgot I did not invert the control stick. <laughs> there we go. So he's... Yeah, he's just kind of doing stuff, he's watching. And then for some reason when you look at him, a moon's tear falls. Yeah, that's a moon's tear. So, uh, that, that just happened? And that doesn't happen unless you look through the telescope for whatever reason. I don't I don't know why. It, it doesn't look like these he has an influence over it or anything like that. But okay, that's done. What do you have to say? Well, did you find that trouble maker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon steer has fallen nearby. Go go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Okay, so... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I need to go to this door, open the says me, and here's the moon's tear. Yeah! And we've basically finished all the side questing that we need to do now to actually get into the clock tower. See, I told you that what there wasn't very much to do to actually get into the clock tower. It's just the whole thing of trying to figure out what the poop you have to do in such a short amount of time when it's so vague. <laughs> but even so, after doing all these quests, you still don't know exactly why. Um, I, I mean, like, it, 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 there wasn't really anything that said, at least that we came across, that said that, uh, um, that the clock tower will open at midnight, but there are some things that do at certain times of the day, so it's kind of kind of easy to miss that sort of thing, and if you miss that sort of thing, you're probably screwed. <laughs> I really don't like that, but at least since I know where to go, I can get my way around here. Tattle! Yes, yes, Deku Scrub wanted the moon's tier. I didn't forget, that's what I'm going back for. Yes, yes, jolly good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just kind of hurrying myself along here, and I'm going to go back over to ye old South Clock Town after I deposit my rupees over at the bank. And you'll see why, because I'll be able to get some giblets on the third day here. That's it's a pretty good chunk of change if you can pull off this move. But first things first, got to make the room in your wallet to be able to hold it, so... Yeah, just fill up the bank with money, and for some reason you will not lose the money in this bank no matter what. I have not evacuated yet because, well, I'm not... I I've got to get my ocarina back. It's, it's a long story! <laughs> yes, I will. Alright, we are going to put... One, two, three... One, two, three... <laughs> Alright, yes, there you go. Happy days! And I'm still, I still haven't reached the 200 rupee threshold, no thanks to that mini-game on day number two. Never mind, never mind. Now I'm gonna go flop over here. How's it going? The town's carnival is starting to look a little iffy. I'm thinking of closing up shops so I can get a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. Yup, 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 we heard this before. So this time... Now we can press start to go into the sub screen, assign it to some button, get out of here, and then show it to him with said button that you assigned it to. Ah, that stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included, yes? Woo! Yes, I got the land title deed. What the poop? You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or a strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scalps. But you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. And that's also a part of a multi-tiered side quest too. So I actually gotta re-get that moon's tier like two more times. I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying. It's a Majora's Mask in a nutshell. But okay, he's he's gone, we got the land, and what do we need this land for anyway? Well, it turns out that of all the flowers, this one is different, because it's a different color. And this one will allow you to shoot to the stratosphere, and by shooting to the stratosphere, you can get up to places such as this, and then getting up to this treasure chest, which contains a pretty good chunk of rupees. Yeah! 
So that's why I wanted to deposit my rupees before this whole fiasco was over because, well, I gotta go back there and deposit more rupees. Happy days! Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I've talked to you many times over, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Enjoy gazing at my rupees. They are not actually yours. So, all right, now we gotta wait around until midnight. It's it's getting close to midnight, but as of right now, there really isn't anything else that we can do, so... We, I guess we could talk to people. Hey, Deku Kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the Festival Tower to the Clock Tower and shit's up there? Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and ran away. This is all I get for a fest... <clears throat> for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this. I wish I could scare that moon right away. See, he didn't necessarily say that it was that it opens at midnight, but you'll only be able to see it open at midnight during a cutscene. But other than that, it's not really specified by stuff. Anyway, I'm just gonna go up here and grab this heart piece just as long as I can, because why not as well? And that's our second heart piece. Voila! And now, we've got to wait until it turns midnight. So I'm just going to grab a little sip of soda here while I wait. Tato! Why are you interrupting my soda? Why are you attacking soda? Should you use an attacking flower? Well, wait a time! You don't get away with that! Okay, back to my soda drinking. Oh, that's some good soda. Okay, it's midnight. So at midnight, the clock tower opens. And, yeah, since the Skull Kid is at the top of the clock tower, that's why we need to go up there. But, you can't really see the... I mean, I guess on the intro you could see him hanging out there, but I mean, you couldn't really tell that... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is where I'm standing here, is up on that platform. It's not showing me in the cutscene, though, for whatever reason. It just doesn't, or show anyone, for that matter. For the most part, it's evacuated. And by the way, when you get the heart piece, it's replaced by just a regular heart to recover your health. Alright, so... We got the clock tower open, we made it in time, and now we're close to saving our game. Finally! Oh my Arceus! I can't believe it! <laughs> Could you imagine what would happen if you didn't make it in time and the moon fell and you'd have to redo all of that? And you didn't know what you had to do to get up here? I had to do that like two times as a kid and I was ticked! <laughs> Sis! Huh? Huh? Tail! Uh, we've been looking for you too! Hey Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? By the way, if you didn't realize by now, um, this one's name is Tattle, the other one's name is Tail. Get it? Tattle, Tail, yes, yes. Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, hurry, the four who are there, bring them here! Hey, that's rude. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you think you're gonna have a friend there to that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Who is he talking about, anyway? Well, maybe we'll see. Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. And stop it, I will. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. And now the moon's falling faster than ever! We have five minutes before impending destruction! L target and then shoot a bubble. Hopefully the bubble hits. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shooting a bubble. How did that not break, by the way? Um, ocarinas are made of like a ceramic and, yeah, type of material. This is not a wood ocarina. But anyway, maybe because it's magical. I'll just, I'll let it slide. So I finally got the ocarina back. But not our faithful steed, Anope. Where did that horse go off to, anyway? So, we play with the C buttons and the A button, basically. Oh? Memories flooding back to me. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Oh, Link. I will forever miss you. 
even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule, and I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. Mm. I am praying, I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. You know, this is kind of weird in, if you think about it, because this is the most vital song, well, one of the most vital songs in Ocarina of Time, known as the Song of Time. And this is the same Link, and it, it's, it just makes it seem like Link forgot it. Anyway. Da ba 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 ba. And once you play the Song of Time on your Ocarina, you will remember it, I, I guess. You remembered the Song of Time, yes. It wasn't in your inventory, you have to remember it. And there's another song that Link forgot that uh, it'll also come up. Maybe it's when Link fell off his horse. Earlier in the game, he lost his memories and 17 heart containers. <laughs> mm. Okay, so we got the Song of Time. We have our rupees in the bank, and believe me, you want your rupees in the bank. Stop on it! What are you doing? Lost in memories! Get yourself together! Get it all green! Am I gonna help us? Oh, yes, it will. Somebody! Anybody! Pass us on! Help us! Please! Any more time! But yes, believe it or not, that Ocarina will help us. So I'm gonna set that over there. And to begin playing it, huh? When did you get that instrument? Yeah, the Ocarina transforms into pipes. And they are musical! Remember the song? I'm just dragging it out. <laughs> it's right A down, right A down. And this is a song that you can play in reverse to slow time. Which is very, very helpful. Or you can play two notes, like... You go right, right, A, A, down, down, to skip, to skip days, like um, you would just by dancing with the Scarecrow. But yes, I would like to finally frickin' save the game and return to the dawn of the first day. I am sweating bullets, and I would like to have a break, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. But I'm also gonna show you something else. Um, you see, did you see all those little puffs of clouds that popped out of us when we saved and returned to the first day. Well, what happens is that all of your collectibles, like Deku Nuts, your Rupees, stuff like that, all fall out of your pockets for whatever reason when going through the passages of time back to the first day, and you have to go and re-grind for them or buy them from shops or cut a bunch of, gra you know, grass pots, whatever you want to do to re-grab re them, and I know, it's it's a pain. You have to do that every single time if you need a specific thing, like maybe you need arrows to shoot stuff, maybe you need magic power or something like that. <laughs> what just happened? Everything has... Yep, we have returned to the dawn of the first day. See, I told you we had enough time to do this. Start it over. But only if you know what to do will you have enough time. Otherwise, you're probably going to be scrambling around wondering, Why the heck do you need to go to the observatory? There's just no... It's way away from the clock tower. <laughs> what, what are you, anyway? That, that song you played, that instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it, your instrument! The mass salesman said if you got the back, the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Oh, I can't believe I, I've been recording for like 35 minutes now. Oh, geez, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kind of get get a move on here. <laughs> All right, so let's talk to them now. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? I was. Don't shake! Don't shake! Oh, you got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Got it! Where did this organ come from? Where did it? Never mind. Game logic. Listen to me. Please play the song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. It's the song of healing. Mm-hmm. In other words, it's XYZ XYZ on the GameCube controller. Got it? And let's play with our pipes. Oh, 
I mean, excuse me, Y, X, Z. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just restart you. There, I played it a lot better than I did the Song of Time, which I was messing around with. <laughs> yeah, the Song of Healing will heal us. And the Song of Healing also has other uses, too, by the way. Please, no, no more Deku. Please, thank you. Goodbye, Deku. Goodbye, Deku. And now... The mask... Wait, what mask? But where'd that mask come from? Yeah, this is a game of masks, I guess you could say in a way. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah oh, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. So now we have the powers of Human Link as well as Deku Link. Got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. That's, that's uh, some memento, I gotta say. So yeah, you just set it to any C button, just like you would any other sort of item. I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please give me that, which you promised me. Um... Um... Don't tell me. My mask. You did... Get it back? Didn't you? Link, you better run. Oh god! What have you done to me?! If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen! I know, I know. That mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. Yeah, so it's a mask of pure evil. <laughs> it is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see that. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. That's what a game over looks like, by the way, basically. Ancient ones fearing such catastrophe steal the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. Well, it can't be good, I I'll give you that. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. You know, like a fairy or the happy mask salesman. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> well, I should say great fairy. Now that it has it. I'm begging you, you must get that you know you must get the mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it! Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. It'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Well, of course you were sure I was going to tell you that. You were torturing me. You'd say anything if you were being tortured. Believe in your strengths. Believe! You'll do fine. Surely you will be able to recover Majora's Mask. Only 71 hours remain, but time is not eternal. Please make the most of your time. I believe in you. I'll be waiting here for you. <laughs> Alright, so by the way, you notice that time doesn't move when you're inside the clock tower, so I guess that could be another break time for you, but you're not going to be in there all that much. That mask. Skulkid uses the power of that mask to do these, those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, canyon that, that <clears throat> Tail was telling tell us about? I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. What do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips the board and stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through the gates straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. So we gotta exit South Glocktown. Alright, but first I'd like to show you a little disturbing cutscene going on here. Um, let's put on the mask. Yeah, that just might be in your nightmares for many, many years. And removing the mask is like this. It's a whole lot different, but you can skip the cutscene once you see it one time by just mashing through the button like that, which speeds up a whole lot of stuff. Alright, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and whack this owl statue with my sword. Because remember it said you needed the blade. 
And it works! It works! You can save your progress here and quit here. This is not a hard save, though. This is just a temporary save. Unless you do something that I'm going to be teaching you. And I'm going to be teaching you this rather quickly. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, I'll, it's just giving you a little explanation of this. By the way, you could not even use the owl saves in the Japanese version as they did not exist. They put them in the... Uh, um, ported, I mean, I should say the localized versions. So yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna, just gonna show you how this is gonna work now. So it's gonna save the game, thusly. Mm-hmm. So we quit playing, right? So here we are, back at the title screen. Now what we're gonna do here is, I don't know why it always does that. It, it doesn't really, it doesn't really save anything in all honesty. So we're gonna go to copy, and now, if you should say make a mistake or something like that, you could just recopy that owl save over your other save file and resume from that. And yeah, so you, you can always have an owl save backup of sorts. And that's why I recommend that you have both save files used for this. Rather than just use one save file per playthrough. Just saying, <laughs> especially since the game is known to freeze. But in any case, I'm going to end off the part here. This took way too long. Much longer than I thought it would. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. It just hit me. It, it hit me all at once. We actually did save the game. I can't believe it. This is... It's incredible. We've actually reached a checkpoint. It... impossible. I can... I can take a break without worrying about having to pause the game and the game freezing or something.